Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and create a USB installer for the operating system Chrome Flex OS. So there are several guides out there which are going to show you how to do this using the Windows operating system. However, today we're going to be using the Mac in order to create this USB installer. It doesn't actually matter which platform you use to create the USB installer because all we need is the Chrome browser and access to a USB port. However, today I'm going to give you a Mac specific tutorial on how to get this up and running. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider scrolling down and pressing the subscribe button. It only takes a moment, but it really helps to support the channel and the work that I do. So the first thing that we're going to need is a USB stick. So today I'm using the SanDisk 32GB Ultra Flare USB 3.0. This is 32GB, so you only actually need 8GB in order to create the installer. However, any size will do, bigger doesn't really matter. And I'm also going to be using this USB A to USB C adapter. You're going to need this if you're using any modern Mac which only has USB C ports. So I'm going to leave a link to these devices in the description. You can go ahead and buy them if you don't have them already. So to check whether your model is actually supported, what we can do is to check the Chrome OS Flex help page. So here it states that Apple MacBook Pros from 5.5 all the way to 9.2 are all supported. So that basically ranges from 2008 to mid 2012. It will work despite the fact that it says that minor issues are expected. Just be aware that this is an early access preview of the operating system. It's not guaranteed to work, but from my experience, this has worked fine so far. So the first step is going to be to put the two adapters together and then we're going to plug it into your Mac. So this is my MacBook Pro 2021 with the M1 Max chip. I'm going to use my right hand side USB-C port here and then go ahead and plug this in. So just be aware that when we create this USB installer, everything in the USB drive is just going to be formatted. So make sure you remove any important documents you have on that. So the next thing I'm going to do is to open up the Chrome web browser. So make sure that you have Chrome installed on your Mac already. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Chromebook recovery utility page. And then what we're going to do is to go to the Chrome Recovery Utility extension page. So this is an extension for the Google Chrome browser, which is going to allow us to load up the software onto the USB drive. But when we get to the Chrome Recovery Utility page, I'm going to press the Add to Chrome button here. Here I'm going to click Add Extension. And now it's been added onto my Chrome browser. So what I need to do is to click on the top right hand side of the screen, this Extensions button here, and then press on the word itself. And that's going to load up the Chromebook Recovery Utility. Next, we're going to press Get Started. And then what we're going to do is identify our Chromebook. Obviously, we're not installing it on a Chromebook. We're going to be installing it on a MacBook. So what we're going to do is to click Select a model from the list. Next, we're going to press Select a manufacturer. I'm going to scroll down. Then we're going to find Google Chrome OS Flex. Then we're going to go down again and select a product. And then we're going to go down and click Select a product. I want to select Chrome OS Flex Developer Unstable. So I'm going to select this one now. And then I'm going to press Continue here. And then we've already inserted our USB drive. What we're going to do is select this in the list here. This is the SanDisk Ultra USB 3.0. I'm going to select this now. Then we're going to press Continue. And then we're going to press Create Now. That's going to wipe everything from this USB drive. We're going to press Create Now. So what this process will do is basically download all the software and then put it onto the USB stick. This might take a bit of time, probably about 15 minutes or so. So several times during this media creation process, it's going to prompt for your password. So it's going to say auth open. It wants to make changes. We're going to type in our password here to continue. So just keep letting this recovery image be created. It's going to do a creation process and also a verification process. This might take a little bit of time. So now it's saying here that the recovery utility has completed and we are ready to move to the next step. So we're going to press OK. And now I'm going to remove my USB drive. So now that we've successfully created the installer, we can now use this USB drive and boot into an old Mac or an old Windows PC and then load up the Chrome Flex OS either as a live USB drive or we can install it internally. If you'd like to find out more about how to do this on a Mac, then please follow the link in the description for my full video tutorial. If you found the video useful, please like, please subscribe. I've got lots of other video tutorials like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.